Okay. Swear to God, I am having... And my mouse is right there. I am having the weirdest fucking problems with computers lately. So I saved way back here, so that's fun. Last week I was nodding off and unfortunately I got to a puzzle and the game was not being particularly clear. Passage here, leading northward into the mountains. The opening, however, it was pissing was me off. And too high for me to reach. Perhaps later I would find the means to bypass these obstacles. I still feel like the game's a little quiet. My lurking friend was nowhere to be seen, but I found these ruins even more intriguing. I recognized these arcane symbols from the chamber beneath the pillars, and realized that this shrine too was sealed to all but the bearer of the Reaver.
Okay. materialize. There we go. Yeah, that's a thing. Can't view and view it with dark because I don't think I've activated that ability yet. Throughout this ancient shrine, murals depicted the winged race. The apocalyptic war against their mysterious and equally inhuman adversaries. These winged beings, it seemed, were not only the architects of the pillars, but of this enigmatic place as well. And just as in the pillar's chamber, this shrine was adorned throughout with imagery of the Reaver. Okay, I'm going to pause this real quick. Because this seems really quiet, and I feel like I need to adjust that. Let's try there. Depicted with the reverence of a holy icon. Or that can make no fucking difference whatsoever. Why is there a volume slider on... in the settings if it doesn't do anything? Alright. Alternatively, just... Turn this up, I guess. I feel like it's quiet. Like I'm having a hard time hearing it. I've got fucking speakers in my fucking a in my head. So grab, grab the stick. Grab the stick off the wall. Raziel. Thank you.
over here. I just my mouse is still in the way. Goddamn, sorry guys. Is there nothing for me to do in this room right now? there's not anything for me to actually do in here right now.
back at the room yet? Yes, yes we are. Raziel. God, why was it so hard to grab that? How can the door just magically opens for me now? to assume I need to go this way now.
What am I supposed to do in this room? Oh. through that side already at one point? Did that just create a magical fucking bridge of darkness? Alright, what the fuck are y'all doing? Hearing weird cat noises behind me.
Okay. Was I supposed to find my way into whatever path was revealed over in here? Also, you're gonna make me fucking fight those randomly spawning, those randomly spawning undead things again, aren't you? Thank you, Mercury. You know, I always appreciate just the fact you try to stop by when you can. Hope your day is going well. Oh, God damn it. stress yourself too much if you can help it. God, I fucking hate these things so goddamn much. The fact that they respawn every time I come back in here is also really annoying.
Raziel, you're drunk. Why is it that when I tried to push that earlier, it didn't do anything? The Death Star is ready. As I neared the altar, I suddenly felt the Reaver quickening of its own volition. Just as in William's Chapel, the balance of power tangibly shifted. Voracious and willful, the Soul Reaver was now in control, and I, merely its helpless puppet. The Reaver plunged itself into that mysterious altar, and devouring the energy that emanated from within, drained this place of its power. Thus sated, the Reaver released me. And I realized, as I recovered control, that these ancient shrines were forges, each purpose-built to enhance the Reaver with elemental power. Now I understood the purpose of the mysterious basins I had seen throughout my journey. They were elemental fonts, each attuned to a fundamental essence. When I forged the blade, every font in Nosgoth with the same elemental attunement was simultaneously quickened. The Reaver's enhancements were never permanent, but these fonts enabled me to re-imbue the blade by bathing it in the elemental energy distilled therein. So what I'm hearing is bullshit is, is bullshit puzzles in the future. Gotcha. Concentric circles, one eclipsing the other. I recognize this symbol from the door sealing that other ancient shrine, the one I had seen in the lake outside the Saraphan stronghold. Perhaps now, armed as I was with the elemental power of darkness, I could return and gain entry. Good excuse for a savior? Vorador. I see my reputation precedes me. It does. All good, I hope. 
I've been watching you since you emerged from that accursed stronghold. Strange that your arrival coincides with the corruption of the pillars. But I'm wondering, are you the catalyst of these events? Or the answer to them? I don't know what you mean. I will speak plainly then. I distrust your origins, stranger. Seeing you crawl from the putrid depths of Mobius's keep makes me question your purpose here. And what should I make of your appearance? Not human, clearly. And more demon than vampire. And the pillars. It is no mere coincidence that your arrival in that clearing heralded the pillar's decay. And so I ask you plainly, are you the instrument of the pillar's destruction or their salvation? Neither. Very well. Let us look at the other side of the coin. I have followed your journey and watched as you blithely unlocked secrets that have been sealed and forbidden for thousands of years. The path you have been treading is open to only one being. You don't know what you are, do you? I have been many things. If you find me ignorant, enlighten me. <laughs> the snark. That's the point. This world is beyond redemption. Also, God, this is quiet. Habit. I would expect better than meek capitulation from you. All right, I'm going to try again to turn the volume up, because seriously, I, I can barely hear this. Just check here. Volume mixer. Yeah, no, the... Program is at full volume. Audio. Try double it. You're doing that all the way to 200%. Centuries of persecution have taught me well. Five hundred years ago, our race was nearly exterminated by the fanatical crusades of the Seraphan. And now the same sick drama unfolds again. In merely a decade, Mobius's cutthroat citizen army has nearly accomplished yeah, I don't get it. what the Seraphan could not. Vampires meddling in the affairs of men. Look where it's brought us. What am I to make of these secrets I've uncovered then? The depictions of the winged race, the pillars, and the reaver. Fairy tales, boy. The delusions of an ancient culture clinging to hope long after the world had discarded them. Their bloodline trickled away until only one of the ancients remained. Sustained solely by obligation and his unfaltering faith in the old prophecies. But you see, even if you are who you appear to be, it no longer matters. You're simply too late. Janos Audrin, the Reaver Guardian, the last of the ancients, and my maker, was murdered by the Seraphan nearly five centuries ago. He alone would have the answers you seek, but his secrets died with him. I don't know how you've come even this far without his guidance, or without the Reaver, stolen these 500 years ago by the Seraphan. I'm afraid, my friend, that you and all of us are out of luck. I had no less well. reason to trust Vorador than anyone else I had met. In fact, the ancient vampire was the most forthright being I had encountered thus far. If Janos Ordren was the key to all this, then I would find him, and Mobius's time-streaming device would provide me passage. But first, I had to find a way back into the stronghold, and I suspected I would find the means within the lake's mysterious shrine.
Okay, so there's definitely something going on under the water there. I'm guessing probably a different time period, because I know there's a lot of temporal fuckery in this game. child returns. Having unearthed more than you'd like, I suspect. What am I to make of these ruins that litter the land, and these images here in this chamber? Merely the deceits of a failed civilization. You are being misled, Raziel. This ancient race hoped to manipulate the future with these scrawled misdirections. You must tread carefully. There are dark forces at work in this world, bent on subverting your true destiny. I have no doubt of that. The question is, am I in their presence right now? Your arrogance will spell your demise, Raziel. Deny my will, and the arc of your destiny will reach a sudden conclusion. Your threats are unmoving. Even now, I'm beyond your reach. My reach is longer than you realize. This is a very dangerous game you're playing, Raziel. Mm. 
I suppose I could save. You know, I don't really have zero reason to bother with these shadowy things. How much farther back do I have to run? you know, supposedly locked these things. It does not appear to be so. Maybe later. Where's the spot to rematerialize? Jeez. Gotta run to one eventually. Oh, that's a... That's a big one. If 
fucking jacked Sklua. You are pissing me off. Can't swim, huh? I guess we go this way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Raziel, you want to pick your axe up? Oh, wait, can I actually... Yeah, I'm curious now. Can I pick up this is the gun thing? Doesn't look like it. Sure, I'll take a torch. It, but I feel like the clumsy in this that's it. The combat in this game is more clumsy than it was in the first. It might just be I'm bad at it. I acknowledge that. also not giving me much reason to want to engage with it, as I'm pretty sure they want me to.
right back to I don't know what the fuck the game wants me to do though I feel like this game is giving me even less direction than the first one, which is impressive because the first game was definitely a goddammit kind of game. Alright, give me a few minutes.
Okay. So, something about four waterfalls and a piece of land? Passage under here I opened up originally. I just wanted it closed, but apparently it didn't, so I just need to. Okay, so. Alright. Ah, okay, I see. I was thinking of the wrong lake, which is my problem. <sighs> I get the feeling I'm going to keep a fucking guide open for this game as I'm playing through it, just so I can check shit after I get stuck for like 10 minutes or so, because I really do not want to drag on this, but... And I would love to figure out shit on my own. my jump, and I press the jump button again to do the glide, and it don't do the glide. There we go. These murals left no room for doubt. These winged creatures were indeed the architects of the pillars. And while the images were difficult to decipher, the pillars appeared to banish or diminish their enemies somehow. bitches.
Okay. Hmm. Here, by the looks of it, or is that a button like this? Oh, my sort, right, okay. So, yeah, so it seems like when I run into the spectral realm, I'll lose. Enchantment I have on the sword. My new materializing materialization point. Oh. That's a pit. All right. Looking at things, I need to get back here with with dark energy.
but Rosal just grab onto things, all right? Jesus. Fuck all this. Which one of these I climb first? Ah, there it is.
month first. had a few strands of hair but tickling my eye and I'm just like I, I can't take it anymore all right fixed it I feel like this is all going to start just coming together now.
Oh, let's make my way to circle back around to that side. Okay, I'm mildly confused now. Yeah, I can. All right. Here, I thought it was something more complicated to uh, getting across to that edge. There's another door that needs to be opened. Okay. I didn't think it's. I thought that was a little too far for just a slightly bit too far for me to glide. So, all right.
Okay. So that door's open now, but what purpose does that serve? walk down here then? Oh no, I gotta carry this thing out. I'll grab the thing before the eye comes back down. Okay, what are they popping up and popping down? I'm, I'm so confused by what's going on right there. That's like a lot of things. Oh well. You know, it occurs to me that this kind of activity, you know, working your way through it, through some kind of ancient temple, doing a thing, and, you know, solving puzzles, is all well and fine, but also, like, this is, like, one of the few times I can think of it a game where nobody's been instructed to do this. They're just, he's just walking and going, okay, I, I guess I just solve puzzles. I'm sure this will work out some way or another. Oh, that's the sun. plunged the reaver into the forge and imbued the blade with the elemental power of light. Thus armed, I now had the means to re-enter the stronghold and finally use Mobius's time-streaming device to accomplish my own ends. skeleton people, so I don't have time for you.
Shouldn't these be open? I'm confused. So, okay, I had to reopen. Why do I have to reopen this? Things stayed open all throughout the last time I came through here. Step one, save. That at least makes sense. more alarmed the fact that there's a apparent vampire in your citadel.
Are we picking up a gun? Oh, no, we got story shit going on, okay. Show yourself, Kane. Here, Raziel. Everything is decided here. You cannot comprehend the magnitude, the rapture and the tragedy of this moment. And yet you must, if Nosgoth is to be dragged from the wreckage of its damnation. I understand only this, Kane. That you and Mobius have impelled me to this moment simply means I can trust neither of you. I don't know who's pulling the strings, but it no longer matters, because I'm cutting them. I set my own course from here. If it were only that simple. Your fatalism is tiresome, Cain. And profoundly ingrained, Raziel. You must understand. Thank you, Fawn. Our presence here doesn't alter history. You and I meet here because we are compelled to. We have always met here. History is irredeemable. Drop a stone into a rushing river. The current simply courses around it and flows on as if the obstruction were never there. You and I are pebbles, Raziel, and have even less hope of disrupting the time stream. The continuum of history is simply too strong, too resilient. Except, then how do we explain William here? The beloved boy king turned tyrant. In my youth, I witnessed William's rise to power and his transformation into the nemesis who laid waste to Nosgoth. Keep your distance, king. Years later, I stumble upon a chance to journey back in history, unaware that the entire affair has been carefully orchestrated by Mobius. In my wisdom, I seize this opportunity to murder the young king before he can ravage Nosgoth, and thereby provide the catalyst Mobius needs to ignite a genocidal war against our race. I warn you, no further. This one reckless act unravels the skein of history. The nemesis never becomes the nemesis. William dies a martyred saint. I, the Anyone else knows the room's pulsating? Become the author of my I don't think that's good. Extinction, and Mobius profits from it all. I destroyed a tyrant only to create one far worse. But how can it be so? How, if history is immutable? The answer is here in this room, Raziel. Mobius propelled William and me together, but ensured first that we were both armed with the Soul Reaver. The Reaver is the key. Two incarnations of the Blade meet in time and space. A paradox is created, a temporal distortion powerful enough to derail history. Is this your sorcery? Not mine, Raziel. Yours. You have nothing to fear from me, Raziel. You hold all of the cards. Then perhaps I should test your sincerity. If what you say is true, you should be terrified. I could kill you here and now. And so you do, Razia. What's happening? We're hurtling towards our destinies, Raziel. What do you feel? This is some temporal is fuckery. Rushing to meet us. This is where history and destiny collide. If you truly believe in free will, Raziel, now is the time to prove it. Kill me now, and we both become pawns of history, dragged down the path of an artificial destiny. I was ordained to assume the role of Balance Guardian in Nosgoth, while you were destined to be its savior. But the map of my fate was redrawn by Mobius, and so in turn was yours. This is madness! Fight it, Raziel. This moment does not have to be an ending. It can become a prelude. I... You can, Raziel. 
Look inside and see that it is so. You have so, how many alternate timelines has Kane had this conversation with Raziel and still got the shit stabbed out of him? I'm wondering. Because, I mean, it's, it's obvious that he's not going to get stabbed here. Poor William. Even now, the time stream strains to divert itself, finding its old course blocked by your refusal to destroy me. The future is reshuffling itself to accommodate your monumental decision. This is where we restore ourselves, Raziel, and reclaim our intended destinies. It may yet be possible for me to assume my role as Balanced Guardian and return the Pillars to their rightful inheritors. To the vampires. And this is the destiny you have urged me to discover. I don't know what game you and Mobius are playing, Kane, but I refuse to be your pawn. Unlike you, I still revere whatever shred of humanity I've managed to preserve. You will not use me as the instrument of your messianic delusions. Very well, Raziel. I'll not ask you to trust me. Your truths are for you to discover alone. Humble words for one who presumes to teach me a lesson at every turn. And continue your journey and learn your own lessons, Raziel. Remember, Mobius led you here, but you walk away unfettered. A champion of free will and conqueror of false histories. There is much more for you to unearth, if you have the heart for the truth and the will to see it. You know, Kane plays the part of the Magnificent Bastard quite well. Okay, so... Uh, dark font? Light font. I think I need the light font. Okay, we got our glowies on. Wait, did, yeah, there it is. There's a door. Yeah. Get obliterated. Sword's getting angry. There's too many souls in it.
to be going. I'm just... But once again, there's no point in really fighting all these guys. See Unless it him. does something like that. I like that look on your face, Mobius. You really don't know what to do now, do you, old man? Here you are, caught without your damn staff. And I suspect things aren't progressing quite as you'd hoped. You're not used to the fly turning to confront you in your web, are you? Kane's devious influence has poisoned your mind, Razio. Now you see betrayal everywhere, even in your closest allies. We were never allies, Mobius. Conspirators, perhaps. Briefly. Why did you not kill Kay when you had the chance? He was at your mercy. Precisely. I had a choice. And I chose mercy. And now I know your sordid little secret. The significance of that displacement I felt when the two Reavers came together. Strangely enough, I was enlightened by the devious Cain, not by you. In fact, I've learned much more than you counted on. I understand now how you've tried to manipulate all of history for your own personal gain. But now all your little schemes are whirling in ruin around you, aren't they? All because I chose to exert my will for once, rather than obey the demands of sorcerers and spirits and demons, all singing the same tiresome refrain, Kill Cain! I'm setting my own path from here, Mobius. I intend to discover the truth behind all of this. But you condemn us all with this impetuous act. Hardly impetuous. It took all the will I could muster. Has my refusal to kill Cain reshuffled your carefully stacked deck of cards? You really think that you're exercising your free will, Raziel? You're simply Cain's servant. I do not serve Cain. I merely did not kill him. Raziel, do not forget your purpose here. You are destined to be the savior of Nosgoth. Oh, I'm sick of hearing that particular phrase. As for saving Nosgoth, so far, I see precious little reason to bother. And I'll choose my own purpose from here on out, time streamer. Right now, I choose to manipulate you for a change. Go. In there. What are you doing? Calm down, Mobius. You're a cunning serpent. You'll piece it together, I imagine. This error is of no further use to me. You will operate this device to provide me passage. I want to see the world in a simpler time, before the Saraphan began their crusade. And what about Cain? You're leaving your quarry behind? You kill him if it's so damned important. You need only touch the two poles of the switch, and the device will transport you. 
But I urge you to reconsider. You've lost your powers of persuasion, old man. You're Rock just gonna trust this guy that he's me. doing what you're telling him? Yep, okay. Yep, there it is. There it is. Even as I emerged from that infernal time-streaming chamber, I suspected treachery. The stronghold was vacant, derelict, and abandoned. Whoa. The fuck are those? It's a really fucking ugly. Sorry. Hey, how about you focus on the big fucking monsters first? Spirit in the spirit realm. There it goes. Oh, cool, they're still here. Appreciate a save room. Okay. Right, I'm getting royally fucked here. No, 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 no. Guys, guys, back off for a second. Back off for a second. I need to get some... I need some sip. God, there's a lot of them.
Can I not kill these things without using the reaver? Sklua, fuck off. Any doubts about the era I now occupied, this grotesque tableau certainly eliminated them. For here was Mobius, long since murdered by Cain, lionized and beatified as the martyred leader of his bloodthirsty crusade. And if I required further evidence, I needed only to behold the gruesome trophy Mobius held aloft, a severed head of Vorador. The final triumphant kill of Mobius's cutthroat mob. His execution marked the annihilation of the vampires. Far from channeling me into Nosgoth's past, Mobius had propelled me over a century to its ghastly future. The intent behind this little detour was unmistakable. Having failed to make me his obedient assassin, Mobius intended to keep me ignorant of my true destiny, which clearly lay in Nosgoth's past. While his deception only reinforced my purpose, Mobius had effectively stranded me here. This left me no course but to explore the era I now occupied and see what changes the century had wrought following Cain's ill-fated decision. Perhaps time had cleared a path for me into the mountains, where I might unearth more clues behind the mystery of Janos Audron.
They can be killed with regular weapons. It is just a lot easier to kill them with the Reaver. Now, Mobius. No charade, Raziel. Only the entreaties of this martyred spirit. Your pleas mean nothing to me after all your deceit. You have propelled me into Nosgoth's future, Mobius, and left me stranded here. I am truly sorry, Raziel, but it was necessary. Consider it the last valiant act of a doomed man. You have strayed from your purpose, and now behold the result. Gaze upon the wasteland you and Cain offered together. I fail to see how I'm responsible. You spared Cain, and by doing so, you have released a multitude of horrors upon this world. I can accept that Cain has murdered me, as, as the Time Guardian. I foresaw an incident long before it occurred, and I take some small comfort in the fact that Cain remains the sole survivor of his vile breed. But you have single-handedly made my sacrifice meaningless. I, I do Your believe, I, I think I'm using this term correctly. I cannot see how killing or sparing Cain's future self would alter these events. This wasteland was created by Cain's original refusal at the Pillars. But amidst all these twists and turns, that event has never changed. You are cunning, Mobius. But I think you've gotten tired of the end. As Cain clings to his precious seat of power, the Pillars sink into a mire of decay, dragging all of Nosgoth down with them. I don't think this has anything to do with the Pillars, or Cain's failure to sacrifice himself. I think you're simply afraid, because you don't know what he's up to. He's a wild card, isn't he? And you don't want his influence in your game. Which is why you wanted me to eliminate him. Well, now that he's survived, you have no idea what's coming, do you? Maybe. For the first time in your entire life. You're terrified that he may have truly found a third option out of the dilemma you orchestrated for him. Cain's lies have addled your mind. Leave this place and trouble my spirit no more. Cool, can I drink you? If you even are a spirit, you've forgotten. I have a way to tell for sure. If you're willing to risk it. 
think so. Either way, you lose. Yeah, like, this motherfucker's trying to gaslight me. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the correct, the correct term for what's going on right here. He's like, oh, see all this fuckery? This is your fault. No, the fuck it's not. Okay. Guarding you, pansy. Quit vomiting on me, too. Damn. Oh, my God. These things are so fucking annoying. Where are you? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna drink you. And I'm gonna go about my business. They haven't moved. There should be a save point right over here. Please tell me it's still there. Good. Alright, I've had enough of them. Raziel? Get the fuck out of the pool. progress today. And uh, next time we will properly explore this new hellscape that uh, Mobius has dumped us into. Nazgoth, the land that just keeps getting shittier. See y'all later. Hope you had fun.